Wasn't that a Harry Potter book? Sounds like it should have been a Harry Potter book. If this is your idea of a vacation, Flint, I'd hate to see where you'd take me on business. Was that a joke? Hey, leave the witty observations to me, weird out of place astronaut dude hanging out on an aircraft carrier. The Joes strap onto the outside of their submersible vehicles, which seems like maybe not the most efficient design, but I'm still hung up on that tank that fires bridges, so I might not be the best guy to ask. Apparently they're searching a bunch of old nautical remains. Notice how I don't use the word shipwreck to avoid confusion, looking not for sunken treasure, but for cobra. Jeez, you guys, this whole cobra fixation is starting to border on obsessive. But okay, they're actually right, and whoa! Check out the cool new undersea Cobra headquarters! Cobra Commander's really working down the old super villainy bucket list this season. The Baroness shows up with whatever it is they've been looking for down here, which is a seashell that Destro claims is the conch of the sirens. Its music lured a thousand sailors to doom on the reef above. I mean, I admit I don't know a ton about mythology, but weren't the sirens famous for their beautiful voices? Isn't that why the expression is siren song and not siren wet toot from an old piece of ocean garbage? The Joes attack and capture Destro, but the Baroness escapes with the conch, which I guess makes her the Lord of the Flies now? She heads to Extensive Enterprises headquarters, which is relocated since last episode when it was clearly in a big city of some kind. Now it's in some kind of idyllic European village. Or I suppose there could be more than one headquarters building, but my explanation feels more likely. Cobra Commander is pissed, rightfully I think, that they wasted a bunch of Cobra resources on this dumb thing and tells the Baroness she can keep it and also that he's not going to bother trying to rescue her boyfriend. Back at G.I. Joe headquarters, some lady in a white lab coat explains what the deal is with the conch of the sirens. Typically I would accept the basic cartoon shorthand that white lab coat equals scientist, but I mean, she believes that there's such a thing as the conch of the sirens. On the other hand, there is such a thing, so again, what do I know? Its sound waves have a hypnotic effect on the male hormonal system. A man who hears the siren song loses all willpower. Ha! Huh. Think I can see where this is going. Sure enough, the next battle scene happens in an oil pipeline in Alaska, where the Baroness fucks shit up with her magic seashell. And, huh, there are those Lady Cobras again. I guess they do exist outside of situations where Lady J has to beat up someone and steal their clothes. There's only one high-ranking woman in Cobra, though, and armed with the stupidest weapon in the history of this stupid show, she uses it to overthrow Cobra Commander and put herself in charge. Which, even notwithstanding my borderline creepy crush on her, is pretty cool. Her first order of business is to rescue Destro, and given that there are only three women in G.I. Joe to put up a fight, she has a pretty easy time of it. Man, if only they'd recruited Quick Kick's girlfriend from a few episodes ago. And oh crap, the Baroness takes the hypnotized manfolk of G.I. Joe along with her as slave prisoners. Destro, who to his credit totally accepts the Baroness as supreme overlord without question, asks what her next move is. Piracy, Destro. Piracy on the land, in the air, on the sea. Well, that sounds dumb on the surface, but I can name a dozen stupider things Cobra Commander's tried, and I'm not even halfway through the series yet. Lady J infiltrates the Baroness's evil ski chalet fortress and is sprung by one of the Crimson Twins, who manages to avoid capture. They head back to G.I. Joe headquarters, where he promises to collaborate with the enemy, I mean, put aside their differences, to fight a common foe. And that scientist lady presents them with a magic anti-seashell ray to snap the guys out of their siren trance. This scene almost passes the Bechdel test until they end it with the customary, Yo, Joe! So close. The ray works, the male Joes come to their senses and cast off the oppressive yoke of the matriarchy. Then Scarlet and Lady J destroy the conch because screw you, science and archaeology, that's why. 